Now, this is a quick walkthrough of mapping uh, sequence variants at the genomic level onto protein structures with JALView. So I've cleared all the windows in JALView just by using Windows Close All there. So I've got a clean uh, desktop to start with. So I'll go on to File. I'm going to fetch a sequence. And I'm going to fetch that sequence from Ensemble. And click OK there to go to the database. And I'm going to put in a Uniprot identifier for the protein sequence I'm interested in. That's 30419. This is n meristyl transferase. Click OK. And this will go and fetch the sequence entry from Ensemble. There we go. OK, so what it's done here, it's pulled back the gene entry. I see lots of entries there. And all the transcript information, all the different transcripts. So if I go to View, I can pull up the overview window and that will show me and that bit bigger. This shows me all the transcripts mapped onto the sequence. Let's just make this window a bit bigger. Close the overview window. This little blue bit there tells me that what it's done is it's hidden from the genomic sequence, the ENSG sequence, it's hidden all the introns. It's just showing me the exonic sequences, the ones that appear in the transcripts. So this makes it actually a, a viable sequence to look at. And as we go through, we can see the transcripts. We can see the variants mapped onto them. And there's a, a variant transcript there. And all the exons are present as different colors. This we'll see on the protein structure in just a moment. Now what we're going to do is to map this through to the protein. Go into Calculate, Get Cross References, and it's going to cross reference through to Uniprot here. So we'll click Uniprot. Up comes a two pane window. At the bottom here, we've got the protein sequence, and we can see we're in exon, exon 1. And as we move through that, you can see the codon change up here. And you see a parallel in the protein sequence, maps of conservation, and so on. Now, this is quite a small window. I'm just going to stretch this, this one a wee bit because I want to take this sequence here. It's got PDB sequences. I can right click, go to 3D structure data. This now pulls me back a list of all the um, crystal structures that are related to this. The first one is going to be as good as anything. And there we go, crystal structure of human type 1 n meristyl transferase. Let's go with that and view that. So this comes back and it displays it using the JMOL applet. It is possible to get this into Chimera as well. I'm going to make this a little bigger. Grab on that left mouse button, drag that, and then we can spin it around quite happily. You can see the colors actually map through. So uh, where it's blue, green, and so on, that matches back here where we've got the exons for and that particular sequence. We can see the variants. Let's go into the light blue ones here and go back to our window with the JMOL view in. And you see, as we move over, might be a bit tricky to see, but as we move over the sequence, the amino acids do pop up on JALView instead of just the ribbon. You can see them popping up through there. Let's just spin that round a bit, make it potentially a bit clearer. See if we can get a nice view there. There you go. You can see them see them popping up as we go. So we can go directly from that variant and we can see what that variant is, C to T variant, through. You can see what the exon is. It maps on exactly. So you can see that's going to be an ACG to ATG. So threonine to methionine variant. And you can see exactly where that's popping up on the protein structure here. There we go. Just there, that threonine there. So we've gone from sequence variants straight through to um, structure variants from genome to protein structure with almost no effort at all.